Good morning students. Today we will learn about the cluster analysis. So cluster analysis is used for an automatic identification of natural grouping of things that is nothing but a segmentation technique. So in the previous classes we discussed about uh, what all the uh, different techniques are available to group the clusters. For example, if the data is of a same set of behaviors, you group them into one category. So, if we categorize them, then it is called as a cluster. If they are having a uh, different from them, then you categorize them into another group. So, different set of groups are called as a clusters. The correct number of clusters or the definition of those clusters are known ahead of time. Clustering techniques can only suggest to the user how many clusters would make sense of the characteristics of that data. That's it. It will surely analyze you what is the characteristics of any data, how many clusters are available, how many clustering techniques can be applied to that. So, this is about cluster analysis. So, you can see this diagram in the chapter 8 we have mentioned. So, this is a one set of cluster. Okay, you can see it is in a group, it is being categorized. So then it is called as in a cluster. Now we can analyze, we can analyze each set of characteristics of the data that is called as in a cluster analysis. Now we are going to learn about how the clusters can be used and where and all the clusters can be used. That is about the applications of the cluster analysis. Now first one is called as in a market segmentation. Now categorizing the customers according to their similarities. Please understand, I am going to categorize the customers according to their similarities. For example, by their common wants and needs and propensity to pay can help with the targeted marketing. So, I am going to check the similar behaviors of any customers, similarities in their shopping or it may be in their purchasement or it may be on the mode of transactions or the mode of any payment. Then they are called as an market seg uh, segmentations we can analyze them if there is a probability of in you know, a 30% of the customers are of same similarities we can apply different strategies for them similarly product portfolio the people of similar sizes can be grouped together to make a small or a medium and a large sizes for clothing items so this is the one i am going to categorize the them for a small medium and a large sizes of the clothing items next is text mining text mining is the one clustering can help or organize a given collection of text documents according to their content similarities that is called as an a text mining that is a content similarities into the clusters of the related topics now what are the techniques we can apply here the, there are two major measures of distances can be calculated. Cluster analysis is a machine learning technique. The quality of a cluster, uh, clustering results depend on the algorithm, the distance function and the applications. Please write down the cluster analysis of a machine learning technique can be categorized by the quality of the clustering result depending on the algorithm, the distance functions and the application. First, consider the distance function. Most cluster analysis method use a distance measure to calculate the closeness between pairs of items. There are two major measures of distances. One is called as an accuracy. DN distance is the most initiative measure. The other popular measure is the uh, rectilinear distance where one can go only in a orthogonal directions. In the other case, the key objective of the clustering algorithm is the is the intercluster's distance which is only maximized intercluster distance which is in a minimized so my dear students cluster results depending upon the algorithm depending upon the distance function and depending upon the applications if i say the algorithm what is the machine learning techniques algorithms we have studied if i want to say about the distance function what type of two measures on the distance that is the euclidean distance measures then if i want to talk about the application whether it is a maximized whether it has been minimized so this is about the clustering techniques now we have here is some generic pseudo code for clustering that is pick an arbitrary number of a groups or a segment to be created just randomly arbitrary number start with some initial randomly chosen center values for that particular group 
I have to make one randomly choose the center value then classifying instances to closest to group which comes under to near to that data which I have selected that is called as a relationship then compute new values for that group centers then repeat the step 3 and repeat 4 for the group coverage if clusters are not satisfactory go to the step 1 and pick up a different number or a different another number or a random number or a random number of groups or a segment so this is about a simple algorithm of a machine learning technique for the quality clustering result understand it? this is a pseudocode for a cluster clear so pick an arbitrary number start with some initial randomly chosen center values then closes and identify or classify the instances compute that values repeat till you get a similarity if you are not satisfied again process identifying a one more new group or a one more new segment now this is about the clustering activity so i have taken a random one is a x variable and a y variable and these are the some randomly have taken now nearing to that two is a similarity i can find two and four is a similarity 5 and 6 is similarity, 8 I have taken and there is see there is no, 8 and 3 you can see in the, in the presentation, there is no similarity, then it will go away, 6 and 6, same value, similarity, 5 and 2, there is no similarity, 5 and 7, there is no similarity of elements, so this is about the clustering exercise, now you can see based on this table, 2x is 2, y is 4, you can see here, you can see here this is the one where i can present x is 2 y is 4 similarly x is 2 y is 6 similarly x is 4 and 7 similarly x is 5 and 7 x is um, 5 and 6 so once if you identify the different set of groups and segment values now we are going to plot, plot in a scattered graph and we can draw a linear line whether it has can be taken care or it can be joined now we are moving on to the second set of case elements so here it is about 2 of 6 2 of 4 things now you can see here i have made a group grouping can be done with a similarity behavior clustering like 2 comma 4 2 comma 6 and 4 comma 4 4 comma 7 5 comma 7 5 comma 6 and 6 comma 6 so this way we can group it now we are going to move with an grouping of the animals like previous class see first is data how we collected then how the objects has been framed with respect to x axis and y axis then slowly we have made the objects to come near to the another element then slowly we scattered the graph that is a clustering three clusters group of a similar data is done next is we are going to learn about the k-means algorithm for a cluster in a machine learning technique now here is the pseudocode for implementing a k-means algorithm now algorithm k-means is k number of clusters will be there and d is the list of data points please write down k is the number of cluster d is the list of data points now choose a k choose a k number of a random data points as the initial centroids repeat till the cluster is centralizable allocate each point in d to the nearest of k then compute it so like in the previous see here how we have identified the data how it has been scattered similar data and how it has been grouped so this is called as a number of clusters and number of data list of datas which are available with the k and d Clear? Now you can see the k-mean algorithm for clustering. See here, the data is 2 comma 4, 4 comma 4 and 2 comma C. This was actually in a one cluster. Now I have identified a one centroid. Like here you can see in the presentation a centroid. Similarly for this cluster, 4 comma 4, 5 comma 2 and 6 comma 3, one cluster. And there is a one more cluster. But you can see in this grand diagram only, which is not B having a similar property like 8 comma 3 x is 8 and y is 3 which is not having a similar property which is not having a similar property then it can be scattered out so in this way we have to make an chemist algorithm for the clustered analysis that is a central what is meant by k and what is meant by d how it is being clustered